Now, one of my favorite ways to color and procreate is to use a reference image. So this works really great when you have line art or you're working on lettering that has an outline. Basically what Procreate does is it treats this kind of like a coloring book page. So what I can do here is I can go to my layer and I can click here and go to reference. And when reference is checked, you can see it says reference now on my layer. I can create a new layer here above it. And let's say I want to color my planet. I can go color drop, continue filling, and just click the parts that I want to fill with my orange color. Okay. And you can see here in my layers that when I turn off my reference layer, that the orange only filled in the spots exactly where I wanted it. And that's because, like I said, Procreate is using this visual outline for me to create my color fills. So I'm going to go here and just put some new colors in, continue filling, and just bop some colors in here. Okay. Let's grab another color, turn off my color drop, drop in a new color, continue filling, and I'm just going to fill these in here. All right. Now let's get a color for the ring. Turn off my color drop. There we go. Fill it with a new color here. And I'm actually going to fill this with a different color. Let's make it a bit of a darker purple. All right. And let's see, is that closed? That might be close. Let's fill that with that dark purple just to bring that purple into my color scheme here. We'll fill that star. Is there anything else? To continue filling, I'm gonna look at these little guys. And then let's pick a background color, which I could just go here to my background color and let's turn that on and see what this does. So I can get an idea. I could see that I could fill in my white here but this gives me a really quick way to adjust my background color and get it where I want it. Something in there's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of nice, that purple color. So let's see something in there, so good background color. And then I want to go back to, um, I could do it all on the same layer that has multiple colors. And, or I can make a new layer. Let's fill my white of my eye. And there. Continue filling. Oops. And there we go. So now I have my entire image color dropped and you can see that if I wanted to I can create separate layers for each color if I wanted or I could put them all on one layer like I did here. I put multiple colors on one layer and when I turn off I'll let you make the background white to make it easier for you to see. But when I turn off this composite layer, you can see that all we have left are our fills there. All right. So this is a really quick way to color in Procreate. Learn more about working with Color and Procreate and Adobe Illustrator and get color confidence with your digital workflow as a designer. Join me in Color Camp. Make sure to get on my newsletter to learn more. The link's in the bio. I can't wait to see you there.